what is the mission of a, of a six foot autonomous wave runner? You can put any payload you want. Sensors, electronic warfare, kinetic capabilities. Is there some type of a mothership that would bring these over? Would they drop them out of a plane? How would they get there? We have eight cameras on it, 360 degree view, perception built into the autonomy. What is the mission of, of a six foot autonomous wave runner? Yeah. So it goes down, it comes back to range and payload capacity. So the six foot boat has 30 nautical mile range with a 40 pound payload capacity. The 14 foot boat has a 300 nautical mile range with a 200 pound payload capacity. And our 24 foot boat has a thousand nautical mile range with a thousand pound payload capacity. So that's how far it can go and that's how much you can carry. If you think about the mission sets that a thousand nautical miles actually opens up and how capable our 24 foot platform is, it's actually mind blowing, right? The speed boats that we use in the SEAL teams, they had a four or 500, I forget the range actually. But even if you're going 20 or 30 knots for eight hours, you're going 240 miles at 30 knots for eight hours, right? That's a quarter of the range of our platform. You don't want to be on a boat for eight hours just to go 200. Like, that's a long time for a human to do anything. And especially getting beat up by the sea. On top of that, you can make these platforms much more rigorous to sea state and everything else where we were operating with SEAL teams, doing, doing some testing, and the boats that they use couldn't keep up with our boats. Wow. Because there was no human that had to take the shock load coming off of a six foot wave. So the capabilities open up dramatically and going back to earlier, without getting into too specific of any concepts of a con ops or anything, um, you're, you're seeing a lot of the ways that these platforms can be used in Ukraine. And, you know, we built just a completely modular platform, both hardware and software, and that's critical, right? What that means is you can put any payload you want. Sensors, electronic warfare, kinetic capabilities. You can basically put whatever you want on the platform as long as it fits within the range and payload characteristics of what the boat actually delivers. That's why we built it so modularly. Like, again, military and commercial, if we stay just on the military side, it might be this op one day, it might be that op the next day. And you got to be able to swap it out. What kind of kinetic capabilities do these have? That's where I'll be vague and I'll kind of leave it to whatever the military wants to put on the platforms. The military can put on the platform. Again, we're selling, we're building a defense company. Um, doesn't mean we don't have commercial customers. Doesn't mean that we're not building for the commercial market. But what it does mean is that from a mentality perspective, we're building things that are going to protect this country. And that is one of the things I was really, really clear about up front. And it drove a lot of the culture within our company. You know, I, I told people, like, look, if you don't want to invest in bo a boat that might blow up one day, like this isn't the company for you. Because we're building things that the military wants to put on. And the last thing I want to do is create a Google situation where Google's working on you know, this AI program and all their employees boycott the company. Like, that's not what we're building. Mm -hmm. So modular platform, you know, literally anything can go on it. We've done aerial drone, like it's just endless. How are they fueled? So six foot boats, all electric, 14 foot boats, hybrid diesel electric, and 24 foot boats, all diesel. Everything above 24 feet will be diesel. You just don't get the energy density from batteries that you get out of diesel fuel. Again, range, payload capacity are really important. Turns out diesel fuel's just super energy dense. And that's what works the best. And that's what accomplishes the mission. That's what gives us range. So every like, diesel's really the primary fuel source. Man, this is, I mean, so on a, I don't know when, in the near future, when we go to the beach, it's not going to be a buoy that says, keep out. Do not no, keep is, out. It'll be 
autonomous, unmanned, It'll be six a, foot boats that are patrolling our seas. Six feet, 14 feet, 24 feet, and on up, right? Um, you know, think of the 24 foot boat. We have eight cameras on it, 360 degree view, perception built into the autonomy. It's just the complete, complete awareness of the environment. Now, what we're building next, we're building a 40 foot, 60 foot, and 150 foot autonomous ship. So, yeah, our, our vision is not to have any more buoys out there protecting things. It's having very, very smart robotic systems that can have a lot of persistence in the maritime domain and deliver complete domain awareness through advanced sensors and the most advanced software in the world. <clears throat> Is there any type of, how would you deploy these on the other side of the world? Is there some type of a mothership that would bring these over? Would they drop them out of a plane? How would they get there? That is a key point that needs to be focused on upfront. That's why range is so important. Where are you launching from? Where are you deploying from? How do you get there? You know, our 24 foot boat was made to be really logistically simple, right? It fits within a 40 foot shipping container. So put it in the shipping container, ship it wherever you want, push it out of the back, off it goes. You know, um, and, and so you gotta think about that stuff. You gotta think how do these platforms, whether it's a 24 foot boat or now 150 foot ship, how does that 150 foot ship get to the other side of the world? Does it have the range? Does it have the fuel? Can you just sail it there? Where is it sailing from? Right? If that's its mission, how does it get there? Too many people in industry like hand wave that problem. Like, oh, I'm just gonna make cool stuff. And this is a government's problem to go figure it out. Or I'm gonna go make something cool and it's gonna go 50 miles. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, you better have a plan how to get that thing into theater that is on the other side of the world. And because of advances in the hypersonics and other things that China has, like we can't get that close. So that's why when we look at even our, even our six foot boat, and I'll be the first person tonight, even our six foot boat that has a 30 nautical mile range, it's like, what are the use, what are the real use cases for that? Right? It might not be certain Conops in the Indo-Pacific, because 30 nautical miles, this isn't enough. So you can't hand wave these things. You can't pretend like they don't exist. And we work with the Navy. We're actually helping the Navy figure out what is all of the maintenance and sustainment and logistics and shipping and everything else that goes into actually fielding these types of platforms in the fleet. 